just live in a moment and just play every game like it's your last and because there's somebody who's never seen you play before so you have to play to the best of your abilities every night. Are you working out in the, in the workouts here or are you just doing the measurement mm -mm. stuff? I'm just doing the measurement stuff and doing the agility. I made, uh, yeah, I'm doing the agility tomorrow and, and lifting tomorrow as well. I know you love your Florida teammates, but there's only one basketball, having Irving Walker, having Kenny Boyd. Was that a challenge to, to, to kind of find your role this year? Uh, for me it was because those two guys are great guys, they're great players, and they've already been established in the program and people know who they were and know what they're capable of doing. So I was kind of like shaded back to a little bit. Like that's how I am. I was like, hey, these guys are already here, so I'm just gonna let them do them. But I was, they forced me to like get involved. They forced me in the offense. Like they picked me up and like carried me with them. And he's like, come on, you gotta get going because we need you or something like that. But, I want you to shoot more. They're telling you that kind of thing. Yeah, that's exactly what they were telling me. I mean, me, I didn't want to step on toes when I first got in, but then eventually as the season started going, they, they forced me into their role. Riley, what advice did Coach give you, Spe specifically with the workouts and this week? And Has it been in your head? Have you talked to him on the regular? Not on the regular because he's, he's busy. I mean, he's, he's probably more busy than I am. Uh, he's probably still watching film of last year's games or something like that. But, but uh, he's really giving me – I mean, the advice he's giving me is uh, just go hard. I mean, that's just the type of person he is. He's straightforward. He's like, go hard and showcase all your abilities. He said, don't be nervous or scared of anybody. He said, just just play basketball, just have fun. Well, talk about you being a shooter, and this always been what's mentioned, but you, you rebounded the ball pretty well as well. Do you feel like other aspects of your games are being overlooked because people just are throwing you in the sh just a shooter category? Uh, sometimes I think it is uh, because people like to limit me as just being a shooter, and I think I, I'm capable of doing other things besides just shoot the ball. Like you said, my rebounding is pretty good, so I really take pride in all those other things like defense and everything like that, and I really – I really just try to work hard to improve those things as well, so people can notice those as well. You talked about the range where you go. You talked about the range where you might be drafted. Uh, a lot of those teams have great point guards. Does that excite you to obviously be a compliment to a Kyrie Irving and some of these teams that might pick you up? It really will, uh, just to be able to play off the ball and uh, being able to play with a great point guard. I mean, that's, that's everybody's dream, really. I mean, the point guard is the head of the team. He's the leader and. I mean, he's, he's the quarterback, so to speak. So, uh, I mean, to have a great point, play with a great point guard, is, it would be tremendous. A player of your caliber coming out of high school, I know I talked to you during the during the tournament about this, mm -hmm. but did you go in Florida thinking, you know, obviously it's a possibility of a one and done, but but what's the mindset during the year of that when you know that's a possibility all year long? Uh, I try not to think about it, honestly. I've been focusing on the season the whole time, throughout the whole year. But, of course, you know, people bring it up. But, I mean, I think about it, but then, at the end of the day, I just waited to the end of the season, which is where the real process began with me and Coach Donovan, and, and I think I made the right decision. I read somewhere that you didn't feel like you shot it as well as you're capable of this year. Um, why do you feel that way, and what, what areas you feel like you get better? Oh, because my percentages weren't as good as I know they can be. I know in high school I shot 72% from the field and like 43, 45 from, from the three-point line, and then at Florida I shot 32 33% from the three. So I knew I was more than capable of shooting better. And uh, towards the beginning and middle of the year, I wasn't shooting well at all. But then at the end of the year, I really started stepping up and got back in the gym and started gaining more confidence in myself and in my shot.